Hello, and thanks for joining me. Well, I recently made some parts for a friend of mine. I'm not going to go into what the parts are for, but they're kind of unusual parts, and they required some metal forming, sheet metal bending, stuff like that. And, uh, but I did it in my arbor press, and I didn't really think it worked that well, but in the end it worked extremely well, and I, I just thought I'd share that with you. Let me show you the parts that I made. Here's the parts I'm making. This is already complete. Uh, I made these things. That was a real pain to make, but the Arbor Press did it. And there's like a uh, metal cone that I got to form. I don't. I haven't made that yet. I'm in the process of making that. But I'm going to show you how I how I'm making these three parts. At least part of the process. The Arbor Arbor Press part of the process. Okay, right here you saw me drilling that in the lathe. I got a, I guess it used to be some kind of pump tube, uh, but I beveled the edge right here, and it's got a ledge inside, and that's what I was making this aluminum disc for. That sits right in there. And uh, I made that on the lathe the other day. It's a, a cone-shaped thing. I welded a big chunk of steel on there just to grab it in the lathe. And uh, I'm going to form a cone with that in this, I hope. Should work. I've done a couple without this guide, but it tended to want to move to one side or the other, so that should fix the problem. I would say that's a success. So there's that. Okay, now I'm going to go into the process of making this, or at least part of it, the bending part. And uh, I'm not going to complete the process. I milled a uh, uh, little slot in that. I actually milled it like that and kind of drilled through it with the end mill. And then I took a piece of inch and a half by three eighths stock right here and you'll notice I left a little clearance in there. Here we go. Pretty good, huh? For this piece, right here, I did roughly the same thing. That's a separate piece that I welded in there. Took that right there. I took that same piece of metal, laid it on its side. Centered over the slot like that. Excellent, huh? Okay. This next one is way more complex. And I'm not going to go into how I made the jig. Uh, actually, I got another video on that. I made this ramp right there. And these fit into each other. And I would not want to do hundreds of these things, but it worked pretty good. Took a, a washer and cut a couple of slots in it. Now this is what we're making right here. There's two of them in there. I cut a couple of slots and I lined those slots up with that right there. Can you see that okay? Well, 
those slot that ledge right there I'll line up with the edge of the slots like that and this requires a lot of pressure I had to use a pipe for a cheater bar on my arbor press but it still worked as you'll be able to see here now I may have to take it over to the vise to get it apart at least sometimes I did yeah it's stuck together There you go. That's a ratchet for a tractor wheel is what that is. Anyway, short little video, but I just thought I'd share with you some of the uh, metal forming you can do in your arbor press. Anyway, thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.